What is up, everybody? PTB here. I'm about to talk about Frozen Empire. There's going to be spoilers here. Spoilers! So, yeah. Now, first of all, the movie isn't good and it isn't bad. It's okay. Might be good for normies, you know, outside the GB circle, but it is not bad as what you're seeing here. Reviewers tanking it because it is not the 2016 movie, which by their logic, if you don't like it, you're sexist. So that would make them sexist. So, yeah. So back to what I was talking about at the beginning. What I did not like about it, I hated that they kept playing the theme songs and jingles from the first movie. We did not need those callbacks. Ghostbusters 2 did it right. All new music. And, uh, yeah, very, I don't think they even used the Ray Parker thing, did they? I don't know. They might have. But all the little jingles, the dig -a -dig, all those. Mm -mm. So, yeah, again, too many callbacks. Speaking of too many callbacks, the library ghost. The one who went AWOL for no reason. Okay, if we had her in old lady form because they went to the library, that would have been fine. She's just Ray. Ray did not make a noise. She went crazy. We didn't need that scene. We did not need that. For all the rich people <laughs> who bought those red parkas, it was not in the movie besides, I think, Lucky Ward on the roof. And Phoebe had it. Not on, but in her hand, in the car, if I'm not mistaken. The scene where Paul Rudd went, oh, ho, ho. From the trailer, that was not in the movie. Um, Ghostbusters gear was useless. Lucky stream got frozen. She did not tell him that Garaka could freeze the stream. She just said it didn't work. I don't know why she didn't just tell him that the monster froze it, but it is what it is. The gear was just for show, ultimately. The new stuff. Just new merch, technically. The Indian guy technically said today, I don't remember what the name was, but he ended up being a main component to the story in the movie. Lucky, Lucky and Podcast just showed up. I mean, he was there helping Ray. They gave a reason, kind of like Stranger Things reason for stuff happening. But I don't get why Lucky didn't tell Trevor she was in his part of town in New York, technically, but she was in New York and didn't tell him that she was in New York, I guess. Podcast could have just stayed in the background. So yeah, he could have just stayed in the background working on Ray's uh, YouTube videos. <clears throat> uh, Peter was just there. He showed up at the end. Ray and Winston had bigger roles, but Peter, Bill just got shoehorned in. It felt like, like he didn't really do nothing. <clears throat> so yeah what you see in the trailer was mostly his extent and again the Indian guy Najiyami I think his name was kind of ruined the movie yes he was funny for the most part but his jokes it was over the top you know he was too stupid so when he said they drew from the cartoon they is he was pretty much talking about his character he was technically a walking cartoon for the most part um the ghost with the the little girl ghost, that's what Phoebe could have been cut out the movie and nothing would have changed. Even though I guess technically the ghost and him say the day and maybe Phoebe to an extent. Uh there was no actual ghost busting. This is the biggest sin for me. There was no ghost busting besides the sewer ghost. I was hoping they had ghost busting montage where they featured Ghosts from the action figures, the cartoon, and everything. Just little clips of them busting the ghosts, the family. Nope. No family busting ghosts, unfortunately. Oh, man. I, that. Anyways, Slimer was just there for the most part. Uh, he wasn't there too much. They used him sparingly like he, how he should be. I like this time. He was big as hell too. One, one at first he seemed small, but then when they showed him again, he was like huge. Like that was crazy. Um, they trapped the main ghost somehow at the end because the ghost was easy to beat. He pretty much came and went <laughs> fast as hell, and somehow they trapped him. Even though the containment unit was broke, so technically he should not have been trapped because he literally broke it. Broke it. If the girl had to shut off the power, that would have made more sense. But no, he broke it. Uh, all ghosts was free, meaning they all just out there. We didn't see any cameos again. The Skull Ghost, they made it seem like it was going to be a main villain. From what the toy led me to believe. I thought it was going to be like 
some sort of main threat or something from Phoebe. Seemed like he had a problem with Phoebe, but I don't it felt like a lot has been cut out this movie, pretty much. Um Yeah, it's almost as if Hasbro got a description like, okay, Skull Ghost, Phoebe's enemy, and it just went nowhere from there. I feel like the Skull Ghost was supposed to have been that ghost girl at some point and they changed it. But again, I could be totally wrong. Acto just got a makeover for a new merch to separate the new Ecto merch from the old one. Uh, yeah, it was still running like a piece of shit. It was broken and everything else. So I didn't really care for that. This is ultimately why I am more toy over cartoon and movie. The toys, you could always use your imagination. Even when you're old, you're not actually playing with them. You can use your imagination of adventures to keep going with the main characters. Movie was just there, ultimately. I would give it a C. I 